हे गाइस प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक एंड शेयर आवर वीडियोस एंड आल्सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल सुपर चैनल टेक एंड क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट आवर लेटेस्ट वीडियो अपडेट्स टुडे वी विल बी डूइंग अ कंप्लीट रिव्यू ऑफ X96 मिनी एंड्राइड बॉक्स सो इन द बॉक्स यू गेट एन एंड्राइड डिवाइस द एंड्राइड X96 मिनी On the front side, on the back side, you have the 500 adapters, the Ethernet port, the HDMI, the EVA, and the IR receiving port. IR port. The then we have two USB ports and a micro SD port. On the low, on the lower side, you also get a mounting holes, which can be used to mount this device on TV. You also get a remote control. This uh, remote control is almost standard with all the Android box that we get now in the market. Then we have the fiber power supply. Then we also get an HDMI cable, the standard HDMI cable. The IR receiver. This can be used if you are connecting a device on the back side of the TV. So to use the remote, you need this. Facing in front of the mount of the remote. These are the mounting pins that you get. The mounting pin. This is a Velcro pin. You can use this to attach it here on the TV surface. But sorry, if you want, I'm not using it. I'll keep it the way it is. So, talking about the specifications of the box. You have uh, the Android 7.1.2 as a standard that comes with the with the, the with the set-top box default. Then you have Cortex A53. Then you have the CPU that is uh, quad core, full core with four cores. Then we have uh, this device supports 4K videos. Then the remaining things as you can see on the box as specified. So the overall experience was good with this board. So after booting up, this is how the user interface looks. I'm using a projector in Huawei. So you can see you have by default the Google Play Store and download the video. The video that we see here, you can use video when you are connecting any pen drive or a micro SD card when you have video stored in it. Then you have apps, settings, clean memory, as well as clean the memory card. Then you have the music player, the Kobe player. Then I have installed the third party apps such as the Hotstar. Then we have Netflix, uh, Prime Videos, Sony Live. Then you have YouTube and Z5. These are the uh, applications that are available in Play Store for free. So let me show you the apps that are there. Uh, I actually didn't even know so you have any apps. I mean, you have also Chrome. As a browser, then you have the Ghana, which works fine. Then you have the user interface won't be for the Android TV box. It is by default for only Android mobiles for Ghana. Then Hotstar also same thing. You don't get the user interface for TV box, but instead of that, you have the user interface for mobile. Jio TV won't work because you need a Jio Jio connection, the SIM card of Jio. Rather than the SIM card, you can say the internet connection is through Jio. For me, I'm in it. Then I have Netflix, music, movie player. Movie player, you see, you see, movie player, you play the video that are there on the micro SD card or the USB. Then you have Play Store. I install Prime Video, Sky. Then you have Sony Live. Anyway, so let me show you how Netflix interface looks. So if you look at that, for Ghana, maybe if you go for Ghana, this let me open Ghana for you. So Ghana, it's uh, this is something that uh, this is what the important thing is that you should look at when you're playing uh, app on Android box. You can install Ghana directly from the Play Store. And you have to use your mouse option. You have this. Hmm, you have this mouse option. You need to use this to move around the cursor. 
but uh, it is not that user friendly using this particular option. When we so let us see the video about it. As you see the video quality is much better, it's far more better.